Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do lookups with your source table that are on different workbooks in Google Sheets. So what does that mean? Let's say for example, um, we'll do this the normal way, where we have one work group and maybe your source data sheet is on a different worksheet in Google. And this is basically a workbook with different sheets. Normal lookup, you would just do a lookup, let's say I would do a lookup here, and I'm going to look up this number, and I all, all I need to do is just click on the other tab here to go to another worksheet, select that range, comma, I might as well put the, that in the abs, uh, absolute reference, press the F4 key to get the dollar signs in front, and I want the description, the second row, and I want a exact match. So the zero gives me an exact match, press enter, item one shows up here, and if I click the fill handle to copy it down, the different items will show up, right? So we have 727, 727 here, right? Now, if we tried to do this, delete this, our information is on a different workbook, right? There's a different URL for that. It's got a different sheet. It's on the different sheet here. And I need to bring that in. So you would think maybe since it's Google that we can just do a VLOOKUP and I would look up my SKU here, comma, and just click into my other worksheet and click on my range to do that but nothing happens. There's no tip that gives you the ability to do that. So we can do that, but we're gonna to have to add an additional function here called import range. And import range basically does what it, the word implies. We're gonna import a range from Google Sheets here. So I type import range. And the arguments that the import range is looking for is just two arguments. It'll be the spreadsheet URL and then the range. So we have our spreadsheet URL here and then a range here. This is the example. An easy way to do this is I'm going to take the equal sign out of here does it, so it doesn't look at it as a function. And I'm going to go to my other sheet here, Control-C to copy that, and bring that over here, Control-V to paste. And I need to get this range, right? But this range has to include the sheet name. So an easy way to get that, because basically what you have to do is type sheet1, exclamation or pound sign, and then the range A1 to B4. But an easy way to do that is I just go into another sheet and just type some VLOOKUP formula and look up some strange strange cell, go back into my sheet here, select my range, and then I have my sheet identifier with the range. I'll just copy that, Control c to copy, go back to my main sheet here, and I'll just paste it somewhere here. Let's just paste it here. And now I've got my two arguments that I need to put into this import range function. And of course, these two arguments need to be put in there with a put in double quotes, so I'll go hover over my, my uh, cell here with the link, copy that, go to my import range, and open quotes, control V to paste, close quotes, comma. The second argument, of course, is going to be this. So I'll just go back, go into this cell, control C to copy, go back down here, and then open quotes, control V to paste, close quotes, close parentheses. Don't forget to put the equal sign here so it's going to execute it as a function. And you can see it's loading and it's going to bring back that table. And so that's what we need. I'm going to need this line minus the equal sign to put into my VLOOKUP here. So I can just copy this, select this, Control-C to copy. Let's go into this cell now. Oops, press escape. That's copied on the clipboard. Type equals VLOOKUP. Look up this value. And for my range, paste what I copied earlier, that import range function comma, we want the second row, and we want exact match, close parentheses, press enter, and now we have our item one here. Scroll down, and we've got all the lookups coming back from this worksheet. Of course, this is dynamic. If I change this one, let me change this to 213. Now you see that becomes item one, number one. So that's the way that you can do a lookup when your source data is on a completely different Google Sheets workbook and it's using the import range function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.